Hey LAF, how's it going man? Connor here with Wilson Motor. Want to put a face to the name so you know who's who you reached out to about this beautiful 2022 Ford Mustang GT500. Shelby, of course. Nonetheless, so let's get to it. Let me do a little walk around here. First off, so I can tell you, um, I am not the most knowledgeable about this vehicle. Uh, I haven't had many Mustangs on the lot here over the past year, especially brand new ones. But I will tell you what I know about it. First off, the battery is dead even though the lights are on. So I'm gonna have to jump it before I turn it on for you here in a little bit. So let me do a little walk around everything without it turned on. And when I show you the engine underneath, uh, I'll have the battery hooked up so we can uh, we can get it jumped and turned on so you can hear that too. But I will do that here in a second. So let's start off here in the front. Um, obviously you're gonna have your air vents here for your engine to keep it cool as you are driving really, really fast down the road. Um, you're gonna have LED lights here in the front. Um, you got the GT500 right here into the bumper. Um, you got the Shelby down here on the plastic part down at the bottom. And then you obviously have the Cobra badge right there in the middle uh, on the honeycomb grill right there too. And the honeycomb gr grill kind of goes across the whole thing. So you got it down here on the bottom, on the top, and then on that far side over there as well. Um, the thing I really like is you have these racing stripes that hit the, from the Shelby and just follow all the way up to the back of the vehicle there too. And so you can see the pictures on the online are kind of deceiving because like this is a white vehicle uh but online because of the lighting it makes it look like it's more of like a creamish vehicle no it is it is white it's the oxford white is what the the name of the lighting is so walking around here um oh i guess one thing i should mention too you have these little things on here um one it's a, it's a very heavy hood um but the to undo it you obviously have to pull the latch in there and then you have to push both of these buttons here to be able to pop that hood up so I'll just yeah, kind of keep it down there um over here on the side so here are your ford stock wheels on it um you got the, the 20s on it right now on the size the 20 sides of the rims um and then they are just michelin tires that are on there so pretty pretty good brand there um, this is your tread after 600 miles that have been driven on this vehicle. That's all we have. You do have the, the, the Brembo racing brakes. So you got that there. Um, you got another Cobra badge here on the side. And then here on your mirrors, you're gonna have the blind spot monitors. So as you are driving, you got someone coming to your blind spot because you know, these windows are, have been tinted after market, after the, uh, the sale of the vehicle when we first got it. Um, so if you, don't, if you can't see back here for whatever reason, uh, that little bright light's gonna be turned on there for you. Back here in the back, um, you got your, obviously your Mustang tail lights there. Um, because it's a Shelby, you got the Cobra here in the middle there instead of your normal Mustang. Um, like I said, you have those racing stripes that come from the very front all the way down here to the very bottom to where you have another brake light down here, it looks like. Um, then you're gonna have your dual exhaust. So you can see you got the, the, the four on both sides there, or the, the two on both sides, total of four. Um, you got more honeycomb options back here too as well and you got a backup camera here as well obviously you got that black uh, fender there too so you get the gas thing you gotta hit you should push that in there and you're gonna be able to open that up so you can see that there um inside here like i said battery is dead so i'm not gonna be able to show you all the fancy stuff right now but i can show you all the buttons and what they do so here, you're gonna have obviously your door controls with locking. You're gonna have your windows and your mirror, uh, mirror controls on both sides. This is gonna be a display brightness and uh, to be able to make it brighter and dimmer. These are your headlight controls. Um, this is your trunk right here. However, if the battery is dead, that trunk does not open. That's why I didn't get to show you that trunk over there. Um, on your steering wheel here, you got lots of buttons to, to play around with. So. These are gonna be your volume and media controls over here. These are gonna be the controls for your center cluster right here. And the center cluster is fully digital, so you're aware of that. Um, obviously, because it's a Shelby, you have this nice, beautiful Cobra right there. And you got that kind of like the white, because the Ford Performance vehicle, kind of like the Raptors have that orange one. You got the white one here on the Shelby, which is kind of cool. Um, it is an automatic vehicle. However, you can flip it into manual and play with the uh, hand shifters there. Uh, so you got the, the downshift on the left and then the upshift on the right. Then down here you have um, your different steering uh, fills. So you can do like a comfort, normal, and, and uh, like a sport mode steering. So you can see the steering can be a little more stiffer. Then you also have your suspension. You have a normal and a, a sport suspension there. Um, and then these are gonna be your cruise controls. You have navigation and your phone, um, and then different settings you can see on here in your center cluster. Um, you have Cobra options on there, and then you have your media there too. 
a few different noise, uh, your different sounds there. And then you have your blinkers on this side, and then you have your wipers on this side. Uh, this, like I said, it's automatic. So all you gotta do is you have a dial to flip over into the drive. If you push the the M for manual, you can use these to up and down shift there. This is your parking brake here. Then you're gonna have this is your button to turn it on and turn it off. Uh, it, it does have remote start too. I'll show, I'll show the key here since it's a it's a fob. So you have your unlock, lock, remote start, uh, your tailgate or not tailgate, but your trunk, and then the alarm there. Um, and then the back of the key also has a Cobra on it. So there it is, kind of cool. Um, this is going to be your hazard lights. Then you're going to have uh, your traction control. This is the loudness of your exhaust. So you have four options. You can go quiet, normal, uh, sport, and track. And track is going to be your loudest. Um, then this is going to be different drive modes, which is going to be, uh, once again, you have normal, uh, normal sport. Uh, there's like a track mode, which is the, 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 the top one. And then there's like a, another racing one, I think. Um, and then you also have like a slippery mode on there as well. Then you have your climate controls here. Um, you have your uh, media controls up here. You have navigation options on the on the center console here. Um, you got your oil pressure PSI, your oil temperature there as well. You got another GT500. Uh, I'm telling you about that. That's what you're driving here. In your... Your uh, glove box over here, you have manuals there. Um, so you can read up on the vehicle as well. Here's your cup holders. You have your center console here with a USB and a 12 volt charger right there. And not very much storage because it's small and you can't really see to the bottom there. Um, you do have another 12 volt and another USB right here. The back seats are very small as you can see. There's no leg room at all. It's really dark back there, sorry, but that's what you're looking at. Um, and then here with your seats, so you have like a leather trim. So the, the, the exterior of the seats are all leather. Uh, and then up here where the headrest is, is leather. And then down to where the Cobra is stitched in, is leather. Then you have like a suede interior where the bucket seat is. Um, and then it's made, I believe, by the Recaro. So I think that's, I think that's what is saying that's made there. Not positive, I can look that up for you and, and be verifying on that. And you got uh, your garage door openers that you can program into the vehicle. You got lights here, and then you have an auto dimming rear view mirror there. Um, that really is the vehicle. So let me do this. Um, let me pause here for two seconds and I'll restart here once I have that hood open for you, which I'm gonna pull right here. All right, man. So here we are looking at the engine now of the Shelby. Um, I do have my jump box on it here. It's all ready to be jumped and turned on. Uh, Unfortunately, the, way the when you have a vehicle sit here for a couple months, I mean, like I said, the, the first owner drove it maybe for a week, and then he came and parked it here, and it's been sitting here since he pretty much bought it. Um, this is what the engine looks like. Um, there is a little, I put on the Mach 1 over here. This is uh, the cover you have on the, the battery, which will be up here. Um, you have your beautiful V8 intercooled turbo uh, 5.2 liter engine right here and it was built hand built with pride Look at that beautiful Cobra and it's a Ford performance. So, you know, it's awesome Much more than that. I don't really know a whole lot about the engine. This is why I have text to, to take care of vehicles for me I know that's your washer fluid. That's about it <laughs> so um, While I have the that going on there, let me come over here and I will turn it on here and when you come up to see it in person I will have that battery charged, ready to go for you. So, ready for this? So, nice and loud as you can hear. Pretty awesome. It's great, sorry. I got the guess on the phone over there. So, it does work, it does turn on, it's great. Let me turn on just the uh, accessory mode here and I can kind of go over the different options here on the interior now that I have that battery on there so um like i said you have the different drive modes here um you got your normal or your, your normal steering steering modes here you have um it's not gonna let me change it. i thought it was gonna let me do it you have your sport suspension normal suspension and then the steering isn't going to change but you have normal comfort and sport um you can change the different drive modes here right in this spot here. So right now we're on normal. You got sport, you have track, 
um, you have the drag strip and then you have as well uh, the slippery mode. So a bunch of different modes that you can kind of play around with. Um, a lot of cool things. As you can hear, it was really loud when we turned it on. You can make it even louder with this button right here. So pretty cool. Anyways, man, that is this vehicle for you. Like I said, when you come up here to see it in person, I will have the battery charged for you. Let's uh, find a good time for you to come up and check it out. And hopefully let's make a good deal on it. Thanks, man. And uh, if you have any more questions, let me know.